Bonjour, bienvenue sur MAG. Aujourd'hui, on a la chance d'être avec Alberto Vasquez. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you very much for this interview. I'm very glad to be here. Okay, same for me. I was happy and lucky to see your movie uh, during uh, the festival, Monday. And just let's talk about the story, because it's a funny one, but not only funny. It's unicorns and bears which are fighting each other. And there is like a holy war coming. Mm -hmm. How did you find this? strange idea to mix unicorn and bears together? Well, uh, this story started uh, with a short film, short, short comic, sorry, short comic that I drew like 14 years ago. Uh, uh, it's a story about two teddy bears that are going to hunt unicorns because the flavor of the blood of the unicorn has a blueberry flavor and they need to be beauty. Mm -hmm. In 2013, I directed a short film called Unicorn Blood, mm -hmm. uh, adapting this story. Adapting this story, and is made by uh, watercolor and pencil and very rough and punk style. And the, the short film was great in the international festivals. And in 2017, I decided to expand this idea with new subjects, new thematics, new characters and with a new f new form and uh, i decided to mix my my universe like author mm -hmm. my universe my characters my this world of fable of tales uh, with a wo with a world genre with a world films and with a mythological and religious story mm -hmm. that's why i always say that, that this story is a mix between apocalypse now bambi and the holy bible Yeah. This is a mix of these three ideas, more or less. Yeah, let's talk about your influences. Like uh, in the movie, there is also a full metal jacket style um, at the first uh, party of your movie, yeah. because there is a surgeon uh, who always um, is laughing about another one. The name is uh, Dodu in French, the pink one. And um, uh, how did you decide uh, to mix and switch um, between all these kind, different styles and registers for your movie, because it's always moving. The spectator doesn't know where he's going. Uh, was it an idea you had um, at the beginning of your project? Mm, yeah, uh, okay. I, I like to provoke emotions and provoke feelings in the, in the, in the audience. I like to shock the audience at the beginning with, with, with contrasts. In, in this way, uh, in this film, Teddy Bears, Mm, looks nice, looks beauty, mm -hmm. uh, but their behavior is very violent and vain. And the, the unicorns look like uh, uh, demons. They are dark, they are wild animals, but they, they, they want to heal the nature. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. uh, this is, all the film is a contrast fight. First, it's comedy. Yeah. Um, almost, like because we have kawaii uh, inspiration ah, yeah. from anime and things like yeah. this and some silly jokes, things like this. Then it's moving um, nah. with something else, like uh, Predator. Uh, yeah. And at the end, it's uh, almost uh, the war against uh, yeah. the White Walkers, or <laughs> something yeah. like yeah. this. Um, why did you choose to have such a big specter of styles for your movie? Hmm. Yes, as I, as I said before, um, it's all, all is a contrast style, a contrast fight between the, the, the cherry bears and, and, and the, the unicorns. And I like to work with the sense of humor. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, the story sometimes is, is a very silly story where the, the teddy bears are fighting between them uh, about the beauty, about uh, their the stupid concerns. Yes. They are very narcissist. Mm -hmm. But uh, the story is going deeper deeper because here in this story there are two wars. There is an external war between the teddy bears and the unicorns and there is an internal war between the between two brothers, mm -hmm. Blut and Tabby or in, 
in English, mm -hmm. fully in Igordi, in Espanol, uh, for the love of their mother. Mm -hmm. And I like how these two, two words uh, are mixed in the, in the whole film um, to, to explain to the audience uh, what are the feelings the, of, the, of the characters, what are the, the, there is a, a mystery, there is a familiar drama, and you have to understand, and you could understand why Azulín, Blut, mm -hmm. is, is, has that feelings, uh, his, why he is so evil. Yeah, that's true. There is a, really a mix between the uh, in-time story, the yeah. private story, and uh, the big, big war coming. Yes. And um, maybe about these two characters, uh, these bears, they are the only one um, who have an anthropomorphic style, like human, mm -hmm. you know? They look like human. So um, your movie, uh, as we said, has uh, different kind of styles, but first and most of all, isn't it not more a tragedy or drama? than a comedy. Hmm. Well, it's a mix between a comedy and a big drama. And sometimes it's very metaphorical. And sometimes it's very, uh, at the end, it's very exp expressive. And, and it has an epilogue, mm -hmm. an epilogue, a, mi uh, um, a mythological yes, epilogue true. about the origin of the evil, hmm? about, about the origin of the humanity. And that's, that's I want to, to do. I want to do some mix between the humor and the drama mm -hmm. and the myth and the mythology yeah, yeah. and it's about the mythology there is some pictures uh, like from uh, an old time coming uh, uh, inside the movie and um, with a narrative mm -hmm. talking about what happened uh, was it something you had in mind at the beginning of the project like to just insert this part yes yes because uh, this is a, a a parody of the of the bible the, the, the teddy bears, they have their own legend, their own uh, religion. It's like a parody of the Bible, of the, mm -hmm. of the medieval codices. Yeah, yes, yeah? of course. And, and they explain the story of the teddy bears and the, and the fight with the unicorns, the ancestral fight with the unicorns. And I, I want to do because I'm a very big fan of the medieval art. Mm -hmm. and I like the, this kind of composition, the, the image with the text. And, and I wanted uh, to do a, and, and the, 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 the teddy bear have their own uh, holy Bible, their, their own story. And I want to introduce this narrative part because it's very interesting to explain the story and to do and to work with 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 the with the idea of a of a book because the religion is a control tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's true. Yes, and and the religion and the teddy bears live in a military and religion society that controls the public opinion. And I'm interested in to represent this, how the religion controls the uh, the military controls the public uh, the public opinion, because this is a story about the common origin mm -hmm. of whole wars. And the the teddy bears want to um, want to reconquer the magical forest because they consider it as theirs. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. For for them, it's like. A uh, a fair uh, war because it's uh, like if they were attacked, but they are not. <laughs> yeah. In a sense, uh, another point which is interesting for me um, is um, uh, all these bears. They are narcissists, like you said. They look like human, and uh, you were talking about religion. Uh, was it something you wanted to wanted to denounce, uh, to to criticize, like to say um, uh, people doesn't really know. Why is they are acting like this? They are just following rules without any ideas, concrete one behind. Uh, was it something uh, important for you? Oof, uh, there, are, there are many subjects in, in this film. Uh, I'm very interested in the, in the narcissist society. Mm -hmm. You know, the teddy bears are very narcissists. They, they only uh, think in, in, in their beauty, mm -hmm. you know, like, like the human in the actuality. Yeah, in, taking in some all. selfies. And <laughs> yes, yes. I'm very interested in, in the ecology, how the, the, huma, the humans, uh, we are disconnected mm -hmm. from the, nat for the nature. 
the teddy bears want to reconquer the, the magical forest and they, they don't have doubts about uh, burn it or cut the trees. Yeah. No, they, they want to reconquer. No? And, uh, and, and, thing. and there's another interesting subject, perhaps, like the origin of the evil. What is the origin of the evil? They are two brothers. Mm -hmm. They're, they 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 born together. They are uh, twins. Mm -hmm. And how how two brothers that uh, born in the same family in the same context could be um, opposite? Mm -hmm. no? One is goodness, uh, good, and the other is is, is bad. No? And these things happens in the in the real world. No? The rivalry rivalry uh, between brothers. And I'm very interested in, in that uh, subject, and much more subjects there in the in the in the in the feature film, no? Like the that the control tool of the society the mm -hmm. with the religion and with the military. Military is is something that came from from the Spanish history, history mm -hmm. and the Frankism. Uh, it's it's not so far. Yeah, yes, it's, uh, not, it's so not so far. Not so far eh? I, I've studied in a in a religious uh, school. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yes. Yes. You like it? <laughs> uh, no, no. I, I don't like. But I, I I love the the Bible stories. Yes. For, for me, for me, it's like uh, uh, my favorite fiction book. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are many 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 fables and stories. Very interesting. And maybe about ecology, there is an interesting scene in your movie. The two brothers mm. were fighting and they just had a really bad day before. I, I yeah. won't talk too much about this. But uh, there is a scene where they just found some blueberries and they are eating a lot. And uh, it's uh, represented like, for me, like yeah. if it was a golden age we had lost. And um, it's interesting because uh, they completely forget uh, what they had just before the war and everything. And isn't it maybe one of uh, the subjects of your movie uh, to reconnect with nature and um, finding why we are doing some actions, uh, some actions uh, against nature? Maybe just to, to explain more, uh, the only one who is connected, connected with the nature is obviously as a pink one, do yeah, uh, yeah, in yeah. French. And first, everybody think he's weak. Everybody think uh, he's a coward, yeah. but at the end he's not. Yeah. And uh, even when he's hunting in the forest, yeah. uh, he's hunting with respect, uh, yeah. like yeah. respecting the nature all the time. Yeah, I, I wanted to to do, uh, um, as you say, uh, the, at the beginning, the uh, the two brothers are very different. One is more confident, and the other is a coward. But where are lost in the in the forest, the roles change. Yes, the exactly. role changes. I want to represent not the nature has a paradise, and mm -hmm. because of course the, the, it, it is true. It is true there is a paradise in the middle of, of the nature, and but I, I want to 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 represent how the the. The, the relation of dependency mm -hmm. that uh, we they, they have uh, each other mm -hmm. and how their roles are changing when when I lost in the in the jungle in the in the forest and when and when the real story the family mm -hmm. conflict is is revealed is revealed yes. no? and that's I, I, I want to, to say I, I want to 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 represent uh, the, how the, 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 this internal war influences to the external war mm. and, uh, and, the, and the external problem. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm... No, no, it's, a, it's okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you for this answer. And maybe to have uh, a larger perspective, um, what is your point of view about cartoons uh, for adults? Uh, because first, everybody, like maybe 20 years ago, everybody thought uh, cartoons are for children. Yeah, I understand. What is your point of view now in NC? Okay, my point for an animation is the animation is for everybody. It's for kids, for young adults, and for and for adults. Uh, historically, uh, the animation is for is for kids, for children, mm -hmm. you know? and and many people um, only think the animation is for ch is for children. I don't know why, because there are many many uh, cartoons 
very popular, mm -hmm. like The Simpsons, mm -hmm. uh, Family Guy, South Park, and, and nowadays there are many, many, many uh, TV shows for adults. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, for example, uh, what uh, uh, Adult Swim do in mm, general. Adult Swim, yes, adult swim, yes the, the work of Wendy Tartakovsky with Primal, Samurai Jack. Yes. It's something in the middle of the industry and the, and the artistic. No? So it's, it's in the middle and it's very interesting and, and I love it. And I love it. Um, perhaps mm, there are not mm, as many uh, uh, adult films uh, in, in the world. Mm, normally in Spain, for example, there are only one per year, mm -hmm. if we are lucky, <laughs> one per year. Um, in France, I don't know, eight, nine, mm, perhaps. Not so uh, much. Not so much, and not for, uh, and, not, and not only, and there is not uh, films with uh, author films, you mm -hmm. know, uh, with a perspective of author. Mm -hmm. um, I like to do what I want to do. <laughs> I am very lucky because I have uh, good producers that uh, support me. Mm -hmm. I have the, uh, the support of institutions and television in Spain. Mm -hmm. And in this film is a co-production between Spain and France. We have a, a co-production with Auteur de Minuit, a yes. very important uh, producer here, Nicolas Ismerking, and I'm very happy because they I can I can do what I, 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 I want to do. Wants, yes. I want to do it. For me, it's, a, it's like a it's like a dream. Um, I think this this film Unicorn Wars, for example, is is a film that that could li could like uh, people who likes the author films, uh, people who likes the animation films, mm -hmm. people who likes the 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 war films. I think it's a very very. It, it talks about many, many subjects that could be interesting to the audience. And, and, and for me, it's a, not a commercial film. It's not a commercial because it's dark. But it's no, yeah. not, but I think uh, it, it could uh, like to many, many people. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite sure. <laughs> I think. Maybe one last question, maybe a world premiere. <laughs> uh, do you have any idea for your next project, if you have one? My only idea right now is to enjoy this film, okay. to travel, to travel, to, to enjoy this, this work because it, it has been six years working. Mm -hmm. I'm very exhausted. This is the here in Annecy, the world premiere, and I'm very excited. Uh, the team, the, the French and Spanish team is here and we are going to do a party tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, now I only want to rest. but. I'm thinking. I'm thinking in new in new projects, new feature films, and I want to I want to uh, evolucionar like a, like author, and I want to to speak about uh, more subject, new subjects, mm -hmm. and and to do new works that uh, are not will not uh, similar to Psychonauts or to Unicorn War. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking in new in new things. Okay, good. Thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you. Merci. Et puis, retrouvez-nous bientôt sur MAG. Le film sort le 30 novembre euh, 2022 en France. Donc là, c'était une avant-première. À bientôt. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup.